We're going to start again. That's it. It just It's on. Okay. I'm still looking for, over here where the camera used to be. For, this is, uh, I don't like this. I like this. Nice this is episode 122. See, now when I look at that, uh, this is great. I'm a Cigar look Hustler podcast. Take two. What a great angle. Huh. Yeah, look at this. Because you are, you're just always on, though. Oh, look at you. So this handsome. Is so happy. So so handsome. This is what I look like camera. straight on, or at least partially straight on. Oh, no. It's right at you, Michael. Boom. Oh, but I look very, very bulky and very masculine. Very masculine from this angle. Nice. nice. All right, uh, this is episode 122. Well, we did have uh, with our first episode that we were recording. We, we turned it off, though, but we did have – we were yeah. FaceTiming uh, Mr. Yogurtlite. Yes, he had to go. his nap time. I feel like we have to acknowledge that, that he didn't make the cut, unfortunately. Oh, because he's going to turn – he's going to – watch everybody. I'm at the beginning of the show. Yeah, he's like, God hmm. damn it. Damn it. Didn't make it again. Unfor- Cutting room floor. Unfortunately, Greg came in and uh, interrupted, so he got the axe, pal. Sorry. With this, uh, the new feature he wants to start with. What does Greg want now? What is Greg doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. What is Greg actually doing what today? What is Greg doing? Super busy. Now he's out there yelling so that we can hear him. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at you with the Lancero. Oh, you're so fancy. No, no. The Wise Man Maduro is the best uh, one is the Churchill. This is a Churchill. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So I don't know why. But I really enjoy the flavor profile of the Churchill over the other sizes. Big article about Nick in uh, this month's Tobacco Business Magazine. Yeah. Big article. Oh, really? A lot of pictures. Oh, I like the pictures. I don't, yeah. I don't read the article. I just yeah, like the pictures. it's such a waste of time. I, yeah, I, beautiful um, photos. <laughs> it's fantastic. So uh, I've been doing some tile work. You know, I've been doing. Oh, the, you're still doing the home renovations. Yeah, I'm doing the fireplace. Oh, uh, let's see. We've we've done renovated. Oh, we wanted to renovate. Yeah. Well, oh, but wait. Our, uh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Oh no. Go ahead. Go so, ahead. Uh, so my wife and I, Brittany, are, we've been working on it together. It's going going along very nicely. But I will tell you this. For whatever the fucking reason, because I've been, I've been mixing the mortar mix and thin set and stuff. Like yes. my, I've been like nasally and sneezing and shit for the. You're not wearing a mask. Days. No. Kicks up. Dust and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then it hardens in your nasal cavity. Yeah, so that's going on. Um, you have COVID. So I've been sneezing a little bit. So oh. I, I, I got gas today, and I sure as shit busted out a hachoo. And I feel like everybody didn't want to make eye contact. Like they didn't just put like, you down right there. Yeah, they're like kill him, kill him now, kill him now. So that was that was fun. Hmm. But if you want, I'll give you a picture. You can put it on the uh, Scarlet's podcast. Have of, you sneezed? Of my progress. Oh, certainly. If you'd like, I'm quite sure the. Hey. But now it will have to be over here because that is where the – Or just put it up on the Instagram or whatever. Oh, I yeah. know. I'd make it part of the show. You're a big deal, Michael. People want to know what you're doing at home. Yeah, I'm sure. Very hmm. concerned. Very concerned. It's just funny that it made me sneeze. Oh. Or at least I think that's what made me sneeze. Or maybe it's the corona. I don't know. Uh, our garage door broke yesterday. Oh. We get home from me and out and hit the button. goes up two inches, stops. Mm. So I go around and I unhook it, you know, try to lift it. All of a sudden, that door weighs 7,000 pounds. spring broke. Yeah, up at the top. Yep. Yeah. And I remember that time we uh, did that one at your house. Yeah. And Greg just kept telling us to stand away. Yeah, because he's an idiot. Uh, well, he said the first three things on every video you watched said that this will kill you if you do it wrong. I'm mm-hmm. sure that was just to make us think he was, you know, a yeah. bigger guy. But still, yeah. eh, I got somebody so coming. So much to do. I got somebody coming. I'm not doing it. Yeah, you're a renter. That's right. Renters. That is why. Oh, and also... You know, we got that dishwasher that doesn't work. Mm-hmm. New dishwasher doesn't work. So we just made a maintenance call on the dishwasher. And we're buying a new dishwasher. Oh, lovely. Yes. It's like a $150 fix. Put in a new one. Yeah, but I don't have to pay it. Yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. Cheaper to uh, put a new one in than fix the old one. Exactly. So, exactly. So did we say it was episode 122? I feel I, so weird looking that way for I the I feel camera. like you did. Oh. Uh, we went out, uh, to Sanford, uh, downtown on Saturday night, Friday night. Hey, yeah, smoked a war Friday bear. Yeah. The, uh, they, they did not have Celery City cigars opened, but one Jimmy was out there with one of those, uh, schmags. You know what schmag is? The, uh, Middle Eastern oh, head wrap thing. <laughs> very nice. Yeah. So he comes over, He's you know. Such a large white man too. That, yes. after that you know, it, it totally <laughs> that, makes sense. Yeah. yeah Everybody else there is wearing... Yeah. A mask that says Celery City. I made yeah. up a T-shirt or something. Yeah. He's but got no. a camel out front. He's, so he's amazing. Got the on running around. But yeah, he was uh, still, as he said, slinging cigars. But you just had to tell him what you wanted. That's cool. So that was nice. Yeah. Yeah, and then he hides the war bears. So. Well, that's why I said. I go. Rumor is you got a couple of war bears in there, man. He's like, son of a bitch. 
Yes, I, I do. I said, is the box open? He goes, yeah, okay. I'm like, all right, then I'll have it. Evidently, though, he's got a box of bacas he's sitting on. Yeah, I should have had you uh, bring the humidor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, if I knew it was his. Oh, by the way, I brought you this. Hey, got this out of my car. It's a pain in the ass. It's, a, it's too big. <laughs> it's too big. He's got that nice little truck, though. He does. Hmm. But uh, uh, it was it was almost like everything was normal, almost. It's getting there. It's getting closer, yeah. It was nice to be able to go out and go Just to a few open places. open the theme parks, please. I need my water park. Um, well, what? Uh, who opened up? Uh, City Walk? City Walk opened up, right? Partially. Partially. Not and I the think good Disney Springs is opening up this Wednesday. Yeah. But Those are supposedly not, all the the tests. But to I need see like you know I need I need a couple things here to open up. You know the one really good thing that I got to tell you I don't know if I mentioned this at all before is that um, we didn't we didn't the baseball season for my son ended which, right yeah which, which was good because I didn't kill any parents or coaches. <laughs> um, yeah, we did have an episode where you were going to kill someone. Yeah, yes. so you know that never parlayed. That never you know because. I never saw the guy again. Right. So, so that worked out well. He's not. He's not encouraging the uh, to for other little children to hurt little children. But <laughs> he's so, probably at home telling his kids to cough on the other yeah, kids so when you see him. This is what I need you to do. You need to rub your hands all over their Sweep faces. Sweep the leg, Johnny. Sweep the leg. Yeah, exactly. He's definitely Cobra Kai, without question. <laughs> well, you know, he was the one that was being bullied. That's true. Who's just trying to smoke some weed and relax? <laughs> What was uh what was the uh, the Karate Kid's name? Danny. Danny. Oh, Danny. I just watched Karate Kid two the other day. Did you? Wow, he's an incredibly bad actor. It was good at the time though, man. <laughs> yeah, you Ooh. thought it was good at the yeah, time. In yeah, eighties. Yeah, good stuff. Watching a fight now, the big fight at the end, it take it only takes like five minutes, but they're both completely exhausted. And just I could have I could have uh, missed those kicks he was throwing because his leg doesn't <gasps> even go up. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh, I'll tell there you, what. you go. Oh, so so last it. I watched Last Dance with the the. Chicago Bulls. Oh, that's, that's right. Uh, over. She's the last dance. I was thinking of. It was dirty, amazing. I was thinking of Dirty Dancing. I was about to go. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Skip was giving it a hard time because the timelines jump back and forth and shit. Yeah. But there's like purpose for it. Oh, I didn't watch any of it. But he's so angry. <laughs> so angry. But it was really good. Yeah. It was really good. I'm glad you, you enjoyed it. I mean, yeah. A lot of people seem like they did. I was never really a big Michael Jordan fan. I'm like, now you wow, are. This guy is. This guy was the real deal. He mm-hmm. probably could have won another one. Son of a bitch. They yeah. fucked him. Mm, well, you know. Oh, not so much yelling outside. Mm, a lot of yelling. A lot of yelling going on today. All right. So much activity. The, non- so get- the non-essentials are out. That's right. Out and oh, about. Back to working. Oh, speaking of non-essentials, have you seen all the posts now that uh, if we can't sit for graduation in a gym or on a football field, maybe they can go to Home Depot, Walmart, and something else, and they can say all their names over the intercom system. I'm just tired system. of it, man. I'm just tired of all of it. I am too. The but fake I mean, news, the real news, the I'm, fuck. I'm it's tired just, of all the comparisons that aren't really comparisons. Right. The Facebook shit is just out of control. It's out of, more out of control than normal. I mean, holy shit. It is. It's terrible. It's just insane. It's terrible. So it's just it. Do you watch the fake news on TV, or do you get your social media news? Which one's right? Because we're running out of choices here. I don't really get. I mean, I go to the. I don't really go anywhere. You don't go. You don't know. I just listen to DeSantis. I believe him. He's our governor. Oh uh, yeah, you know what? That's all think, that matters. Uh, yeah, just but it doesn't matter if he's right or wrong. It's just whatever yeah. he's making. Tell the me what you're. That day. Tell me what you're going to tell us, and I'm just going to move forward with <laughs> there that. There you go. Because you're in charge. You're the boss, so yeah. that's the way it works. <laughs> okay, everybody has to wear that one blue sock and one red sock because we I found out socks. white hey, socks. <laughs> No blue good. socks it is. But it's it. Fine. Blue socks. You know what? If you don't want to wear them, fuck you too. I don't Stay really Stay home. Care. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, just, you know, mask, no mask, whatever you want to do. I've, I've sort of given up on the mask, Enjoy to be honest life. with you. Yeah. And then what, what are yeah. we are week 13 here now. Oh. I still wear mine. If oh, I'm out by myself, I do. Yeah. But if uh, we go out, like we we obviously didn't, we went downtown Sanford. I mean, you'd be taking it off, eating and drinking all night long. So. Well, if you're at a restaurant, how do you wear a mask? Right. But the staff does. That's nice. They like that. And the girl who brings food's got on gloves. Hmm. It's amazing how many places down there that you thought were a bar suddenly serve food. Oh, we're a restaurant. We're a restaurant now. We are essential. That's right. All right, here we go. Uh, uh, yeah, let's get this party started already, man. We're, uh, we're about t- tile work and baseball. Ten, ten and minutes. And ten minutes. Like I, I hate looking over there for the camera. I love it. This is so nice. My neck. Oh, <laughs> now I'm going to have a kink in my neck for the next so three days. So much freedom. Uh, health alert. U.S. Embassy Managua, Nicaragua, May 14, 2020. Oh, God. U.S. Health, the U.S. Embassy Managua, Nicaragua, 
uh, location at Nicaragua. As of May 14th, the government of Nicaragua has reported 25 cases of COVID-19, included cases transmitted through the community spread. How are they testing? Come on. Independent health monitors, Michael, apparently. Okay. Independent health monitors report the actual number of cases is likely much higher. Yeah, no Independent shit. reporting also suggests that the spread of corona may be, we're changing the name again, can be impacting the ability of the medical system in areas outside of Managua to effectively respond. So the witch doctor cannot get around with his rattles Ooh, and his bones. La bruja. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> While the Nicaraguan government has not officially announced border restrictions, the land borders with the Costa Rican and Honduran with Honduras are closed. All commercial air service between Nicaragua and the United States remains suspended until at least early June. So it's just a Nicaraguan problem, or is that a Honduran, Nicaraguan, and Costa Rican problem? Uh, well, this is just... I mean, it seems global to me. I don't know. It is global, but this alert was from the U.S. Health Department about uh, Nicaragua. Okay. The embassy advises U.S. citizens still in Nicaragua to prepare now to shelter in place. Mm. U.S. citizens remaining in Nicaragua must ensure that they have an adequate supply of food, water, and medicine to shelter for at least two weeks. Yeah, because, okay. The zombies. Sounds like the zombies idea. everywhere. Visit uh, ready.gov for additional tips if you happen to be down there listening to the show. Oh. Uh, additional tips to prepare yourself and your family to shelter in place. But can we get product out of there? Uh, not according to the U.S. Health Department and the embassy in Nicaragua. They're not shipping anything? I don't know. It doesn't say. Yeah, I think they still are. Probably. Probably. And, I think oh, I, uh, I think I heard that Skip said that like the roller and bunchers. Now, one day the bunchers work, one day the rollers yeah. work. So, well, I mean, I mean that guy actually does... Breaking you know, it all up. He so. tries to take care of his people. Yes, yeah, I mean, keep everybody you know, working. You know, unlike every other just factory. Handing out eggs and milk. <laughs> <laughs> Those people. We're so great. The dairy farmers of the tobacco world. Press release. <laughs> all right, Michael. It's finally happened. The PCA has been canceled. Yeah. The Premium Cigar Association has announced one. it has canceled its 2020 trade show and convention. Look, I mean, can I finish? Can I finish? Go ahead. You got it. Do what you want. Well, the past 11 months show. have arguably been the most tumultuous in the PCA's Tumultuous. 80, yeah, that word. 88 year old in the tobacco era factory. Did I say it right that Ooh, time? Oh, that was good. Oh, that's pretty close. Felt, yeah, felt, Ultimately, the event right. has been canceled due to the Corona 19 uh, pandemic. The PCA trade show and convention has been scheduled to open July 10th in Las Vegas at Sands Expo Convention Center. And then there's just a bunch of other stuff that makes them sound like they had this going all along. Well, Vegas is still a mess. Right. Uh, I don't think Vegas is still has not opened yet. Yeah, but I got to throw this down here. The um, because the camera, the camera's over there now. Uh, the guys that really control it, the uh, gambling board of dread, whatever you want to call them, whatever. They said you can only have two hundred fifty people on a convention floor at one time. That sounds like fun. Well, that would be just the people that are working. I that mean, isn't, that isn't enough. No, maybe a very small, very small convention. And I'd miss Danny because he'd be the first to go. Oh, right. And that would hurt my heart, Danny. <laughs> Poor Danny. Well, as Vegas is getting ready to reopen the Venetian, which is a hotel and casino, which contains. Actually, I think John was hired after Danny. So John would probably be the first to go. Oh, I thought you meant health wise. You just meant first. No, uh, last one in if first one. A number out. of people. Oh, number of people that are not yeah. allowed. I yeah. thought you meant he was going to get sick like he was sickly. I mean, it's not like. Yeah. And then like, you know, Skip has health conditions. So it's not like he'd, he wouldn't go. go. Yeah, he can't go. Now, where's the fun of that? Mike's not going to let Jamie go because he doesn't want his family to get sick. Yeah. She gets in with the kids. So mm -hmm. it would be Mike and Sean. That'd be it. Yep. Lightweight heavy. Nothing gets him sick. Nothing Nothing gets lightweight Nothing heavy. can take nothing. lightweight heavy down. That guy. The guidelines include enforced social distancing. He is an antibody. <laughs> so you can't get near anybody. Uh, last week, oh, here we go. The Nevada Gaming Convention issued guidelines. Captain the occupancy for 250 people at a convention. So that was not going to work. But there is good news, Michael. Organizers say Enter to Back 2020 will happen as scheduled. Oh, okay, but can we talk about PCA now? Oh, certainly now you can, I mean, yes. I figured on. you were done. So here's the funny part about the PCA. The real question is, can they survive this? Yes, that's right. uh, there's been several articles uh, put out by all the regular media people. Can they survive it? What will happen? I think they're better off canceling it and Absolutely. not having yeah then having it and nobody shows but the real question is how to how do they handle this going into the next one right well uh, uh i forget whose article it was it might have been we'll just say it's coop because i like coop okay uh, uh the real problem here is that everybody's going to see how they can survive without it that's true too so if they cannot have a significant drop in sales because right. there was no convention 
why spend the money next year? Yeah. So that's, that's the biggest true. problem. So so then the PCA has to really kind of recalibrate as far as you know, they have to figure out some way to bring everybody back and shit and all that other stuff. So oh, that would be bad. Um, uh, Charlie Minato uh, got some information that they even have to the half wheel. Yes, yeah, a half wheel. PCA has to guarantee a certain number of rooms are occupied for the convention in the hotel. If not, they have to pay for the rooms. Oh. So had it been a less than successful Ooh. event, the cost of the hotel rooms could have cost them as much, if not more, than the profits they would have made. Uh huh. So that was leaked. He he got that from someone. Well, I mean, you know, you can always do it at the SLS or whatever the hell it's called now. Just like TPE. Or the SLS. It's the other hotel. Oh. We're in the, in the head of the convention. Treasure there. Island. Treasure Island. Circus that was Circus. The, circus. That's what I'm talking about. PCA Circus Circus. Hey. Yes. Uh, so, Enter Tobacco. Enter Tobacco, the world's largest international tobacco trade show, says the 2020 event is expected to take place as scheduled in dormant Ger- Germany. When is that? When or what? Yeah, when is it? That is uh, September 18th through the 20th, oh, 2020. Yeah. That's far away. Um, a very long German name that uh, of the company that I was not even going to try to pronounce. You, you, you may have a vaccine by then. Uh, possibly, yes. The company that owns both the event and the convention center where it takes place announced today that it is moving forward with plans to have the event. Though further details about health and safety measures related to the coronavirus uh, pandemic will be announced next month. Everybody gets a bubble. You get to go in. Afterwards, we will evaluate the measures. I can't do a German accent, so we'll just go with this. Yeah. Uh, measures. I mean, German accent. Chinese. Chinese. Yeah. yeah. Well, you want to just be Chinese? <laughs> uh, we coordinate our photo course of action, especially with regard to the edit tobacco and edit supply, says uh, Sabine Luce, managing director of the West. That's exactly how he sounds. West Fall of Holland in a statement. I mean, we assume the voting of this uh, will be completed in late May and early June. It does sound a little German accent. <laughs> The statement from the company indicates that part of those safety measures could include a limit about the number of people attending the event. Last year, Interpac said that 13,800 people attended the event, which has over 500 exhibitors from 47 countries. Mm. So I put together, Michael, the schedule. Uh, you're not supposed to touch your face. Uh, I listen, just touched my, my face before. Was my I, had to itch I actually nose. touched a tongue that's worse than a face. Uh, uh, here's I did the like f- one of these. Oh, no. Here's the fall 2020 cigar schedule. It's going to be very, very busy in the oh, fall. Very see. busy in the fall. Okay. Uh, Texas Cigar Fest is August 8th. Okay. And then from that, you have just under 30 days to go to the Weevil, Weasel Fest. It's ah, September 5th. Okay. And then you have, uh, what, uh, two weeks between that and the Enter to Back in Germany. Mm-hmm. And then from that, you have to immediately board a plane because you have uh, less than a month to go to Cigar Fest in Pennsylvania. Cigar Fest 2020. Okay. It's October 16th and 17th. And then the Tampa uh, Cigar Bash is usually you can't in October. your paper there anymore. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Tampa Cigar Bash is usually in October, but they have not uh, released any dates yet, so I don't know if that happened. But that, that's normally the middle of October also. And then the Big Smoke is October 31st in ha- on Halloween down in Hollywood, Florida. And is then, that the Cigar Aficionado one? Yes. Yes. Okay. And then they have the Las Vegas Big Smoke it is uh, 20 days later in Las Vegas, if mm. they're open, I guess. And I'm then, sure they will be by then. Yeah. Finally, you get to end the year at the Cigar Heritage Festival in Tampa, December 6th, 7th, and 8th. I feel like some there there are some events that you haven't mentioned yet that probably haven't been confirmed on specific There are, specific specific directly. Yeah. Yes. And then 2021 starts with the TPE at the end of January. And we start this all over again. Just can't wait for 2020 to end. Let's just fucking... It's, it's just... Let's just get it, it over now. With. I mean, <laughs> just, let's just call it a mulligan and just, just mm. chuck it. The lost year. 2020. Mr. Gar is falling apart in my mouth. I mean, what a, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, well, I got It's a very, very busy fall. I got to be honest, the only one I'm concerned about is the Weasel Fest, so. Yeah, if I was looking at the list, I was like, mm, that's really the only one I'm going to go to. Uh, yeah, so. I might do the TPE next year with you guys. Ooh. There's enough people here I this year. Go. There's enough people here this year. I'll introduce you to my boy, Carl. Carl Malone. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah we're close. He, big article about him in the Tobacco Business Magazine, too. Really? Yep. Yeah. Same old pictures, none of them from before. Nice guy. Again, didn't read the article. Let's look at the photos. He did like a seminar, apparently. I didn't see the seminar. Yes, he did. But he, I, I, hear, I heard he mentioned you. Uh, it probably did. Yes. I mean, I, I from understand. his interaction in the gym. Yeah, I get it. I met this fine white boy down in the gym today. That is not how he sounds. <laughs> and how he sounds not at all? Close. No. Yeah. Not I, like Uncle Remus at all. No, 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 no. no. I don't think he's a rancher or anything. 
<laughs> crazy. Is that from Texas? Uh, no, no. It's so yeah. weird. Um, I don't even know where I was going. Oh, he was talking about. Just, he talked about uh, apparently just like. It's sad that this has to happen, that this conversation has to happen with people, but it's so true. Yes. And it was just like, be nice to people. Like, that was part of his Part seminar. of his thing? Yeah, like, you know, you really should just be nice to people. And it's the easiest way to get people to come back. And I guarantee you that, like, half of the fucking retailers are there be like, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> be nice, <laughs> come on. Fucking, fucking idiot. What? They you expect know? me to treat them like shit when they come in. Yeah. I mean, that, that poor guy, I saw him get off the elevator and... He couldn't walk five feet without getting a photo with somebody. And every time oh, he, was, wow. he was very cordial, just, you know. He's you know, so ne- tall. Does he have to like bend over for the photos? Uh, you know, I didn't examine. At, you know, well, yeah, I figured it, you might have broke down. But I just, how was your photo? Did you bend over with him? I, I skipped the photo. I felt pretty bad. I was like, <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna hit you up for a photo, dude. In the gym, you no. could have taken that one where you're working out, where he's behind you, and you just go. <laughs> Click. Yeah, you sort of space it so it looks like he's next to you and looks like you're really tall because, yeah. you know, the depth of field. Yeah, he's really far away. Right. Yeah, smart. I like it. I like where your head's at. You want me to follow you down in the gym next year? It'd be perfect. <laughs> It'd be perfect. Why is that guy following you around with that camera I don't want to fuck with a guy when they're, when they're working out. Like, that's the most frustrating thing on the planet. It, I know. I'm sure it happens to you all the time. Uh, can I get a photo? Oh, yeah. I get, yeah. All, the, all time. the time. Everybody wants Oh, you're okay. We're going into phase two starting Ooh. today. Right? Ah. right? We started phase two here in Florida. Uh, this is phase two of phase one or some shit like that. I thought it was, it was strictly ran into phase two. I 50%. think they're all called phase one. Oh, ones. you know what? We didn't bring that up at the meeting. What's that? Phase two. We can go to 50% capacity. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. I think we're going to leave the chairs the way they are. Probably. Probably a good idea. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, why is your gym not opening? Because. Because. They haven't I given no, no reasons? I think, I think there's a, I mean. Do they give the standard bullshit like for the safety of our members no, and our employees? I don't think that that's the case. I think that, you know. Um, there's a process for bringing people back. You know, there's certain regulate like regulations that they have to consider as far as the new rules state that you can't do group sessions. Okay, so if you can't do group sessions, you know, you're going to close off half that gym anyways. The capacity is fifty percent. You this is what you're supposed to have, right? So, okay, what does that mean? Because they're a gigantic building with other little things like they have a you know. Uh, well, I'm sure they there. They it's have probably based therapy. on your uh, the fire code thing. Like but the you're fire code have... capacity is based on everybody as a whole. Oh, including the rooms they're not using. Well, in, well, also including other small businesses it's... that are there. Uh-huh. You know, so it's like you want to make sure that wow, I mean, the care of the one, subtract the yeah. There's there's a there's a lot the sub to guy it. and then and you got to make sure that you know. Uh, I'm sure that there's going to be new responsibilities for specific. Uh, you know, for personal trainers, for for other employees, and you know, want to well, make sure. Well, I'm that sure, like most places, all their employees have to wear masks. You want to make sure that all that shit's in place. Machines like, probably to be clean between. And they're not going to leave it up to you. I don't know how it is at your gym, but they they normally leave it up to the guy that just got off to wipe his sweat off. Right. They're probably going to have to have somebody stand in there. Yeah. So yeah. you know, doing it right. If if doing it right means you got to wait two more weeks. Okay. Well, you'd think a uh, big place like that, they would have already had this stuff in motion. You could argue that point. At least they should have. I mean, if my business had been closed for the last, what, 60 days, I would want to open as soon as. Have they still been thinking you for the membership fees? Nope. Oh, well, good but let's say that they, you know, let's say that they were, okay, look, we're earmarking June 1st and we're thinking that's when this is going to happen. Right? Okay. All right. So let, so, okay, we'll give them that. So All maybe right. they were building the Get everything ready to be ready that. for June 1st. Right. Yeah. So it just moved up early. They're like, uh, fuck, we're not ready. Yeah. DeSantis is like, hey, good news. Good news. We're going to open early. Guess what? I mean, I've talked to, you know, some friends of ours and stuff that I'm not going to mention any names that work at hospitals. They say it's slow. Yeah. They say that, you know. Yeah, I've heard that too. Bed, for one, bed, they're calling it bed capacity is low. Yeah, for one, they're you know people that have other illnesses and stuff aren't going in, and for right, two, yeah. you know they have had cases and they have had deaths, but the, it's not an overwhelming astronomical. It's not like what we saw on like the New York videos or anything like that. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? So uh, today on the radio, they were talking to a young man who is in Italy who has been on a cruise ship for eight weeks. Yes, I heard about that. He uh, – it was quite a nice little interview, very very chatty young man. He works in the jewelry department, but him and his roommates all came positive with it from yeah. the one one of their roommates who got yeah. sent home early. Right. Yeah. You need to so, have two negatives or some shit. Yeah, he just got transferred to an Italian hospital ship, finally mm-hmm. got off the cruise ship, and now he's stuck there until he gets two negatives, and then he can go home. Right. Yeah. I think we should just apologize to Jason right now 
uh, about the fact that we've done nothing this but is, talk. This is the all COVID show, Jason. I'm sorry, Mr. Wolpert. We do apologize. But hey, we mentioned his name, so you know. Yeah. All right, uh, we're 25 minutes. We're gonna take a break because right. I, I don't have a whole lot left, uh, and so we're gonna we'll be right back. All right. Okay, and we're back. And we're uh, back. Episode 122 oh. Cigar Hustler Podcast. I got a funny story. Do you want to hear that? Uh, sure, Michael. Tell me the funny story. It's pretty funny. Okay. So we have this broom. It's like this red metallic broom. Like at here or at your house? No, I'm, at my house. Okay. And uh, the broom usually stays in the garage, mm-hmm. right? Um, but one day uh, we use the broom for the tile work or whatever, cleaning up the stuff. Yes. And Brittany's like, man, this something smells really bad. Is there something dead in the fireplace or something like that? And we, I'm like, no, I don't smell it. It's like, maybe it's the wood. So I'm spraying the wood with hydrogen peroxide and stuff. They, right. I don't smell anything. Is that what was under the uh, tile you took off? Uh, under one of the fire, yeah, one of the sections. And I'm like, I don't smell anything. So um, we put the broom away. Yes. And we move on. Yes. You know? week or two later passes by and um, I'm teaching the kids the, the, the kids chores are they gotta feed the dogs right okay but when the kids feed the dogs they leave the dog food fucking everywhere it's a goddamn catastrophe and, and it drives me nuts right so I'm like get the fucking what, broom they spill it when they pour it in the bowl type thing no yeah well the dog food's outside out in the garage so they take the and they take the scoop go, yeah, oh, yeah and it just kind of goes full, everywhere it falls yeah. everywhere yeah, yeah okay gotcha I mean look you got to have, you know, yeah. reasonable expectations for a seven-year-old. Right, exactly. Right? So I'm like, hey, you can't leave this like this. You need to clean it up. Ants. What? You get ants. Yeah. Ants, roaches, whatever. Yeah. I mean, with rats. F- rats yeah. love dog food. Really? Yeah. Mm. They so, grow, and then they grow big. <laughs> that's even more of a reason why we need yes. to address this. Right. So I'm like, hey, take the broom, and you got to sweep this up. And it's too big for Jack. So I remove the handle, so it's just the broom. Just the broom head. Right. Put the handle over here. Right. In the garage. Jack sweeps up the stuff, whatever. <laughs> so um, my son gets a genius idea of this that the pole it can now be a weapon. Oh yes, that we can take inside the house and you know, oh, and wave around, and smack people outside, and stuff with no, and yep, whatever. Poke you in the ass with yeah. a stick. So um, so the, apparently when he swung the pole, this black thing flew out uh. yes and um in a panic because now he's nervous right he runs and puts a pole away <laughs> ah. so now we walk not into not caring the... what happened to the black no, thing. no no just leave it alone <laughs> we're moving on <laughs> so i broke the stick so we walk into the room and we're like what in the fuck is that smell what did you do and like he's i don't know i didn't do anything <laughs> Unbeknownst to us, I would just us, yell, "I shit my pants." Unbeknownst <laughs> to us, a lizard had crawled into the oh, hole of the broom, died, and died, oh. and has been rotting in there oh. for several weeks. Ooh. So, once we found said dead carcass, yes, we had to remove the carcass, and we had to do a thorough sanitation of the entire oh, dead fucking room. Oh no, dude, it was bad. There were oh, maggots. Sure. Oh, there how was, big was this lizard? I don't know, man. There was goop, like oh. I had steam cleaned the carpet. I mean, it was it was pretty intense. Wow, yeah, lost my shit on my son, but it wasn't his fault. I mean, right. he, he just needed him to say something to me. You know, I was like, dude, but um, dad, something flew out of the stick. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I what don't, I I don't know, I don't know what, what it did. I did. I don't know what did something. So, uh, I mean, to a point where it made everybody gag. I mean, it was oh. horrible, horrible experience. Wow. Yeah. Terrible. You should videotape that stuff for the show. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Hey, you always need to be thinking of the show, Michael. Oh, always well, thinking of the well, show. Well, hey, I'm giving you some content now that, you know. Yes, but it's so much better if, there would have, if we could have cut I to the video. Like, what was the lizard thinking? Like, I'm going to go in this hole? He doesn't know. He's going to. They're, they're, oh, they're coming. i got to hide. And then he couldn't get out. Oh, can't back up. And then he died. Can't back up. Oh, and then he died. Starving to death in there. In the broom. So he's in there for weeks. He's banging on the side going, <laughs> help. Help me. I'm sorry. Help me. I'm in the ball. Yeah. Well, we got, well, my son got him out. <laughs> in the house. Oh. Never a fucking dull moment, I swear to God. That's the joys of children. I guess so. Yes. I guess so. 
<laughs> All right, Michael. The coronavirus outbreak has hit the uh, Ooh, more Corona news. Instant ramen noodle factory in Virginia. Hey. Less seven workers at the ramen noodle factory in Virginia are in quarantine after testing positive for the coronavirus, according to local media reports. The plant in Chesterfield, about 15 miles south of Richmond, remains in operation, according to oh, they're still open. So we're making them freeze dried gotta, noodles. Gotta make those ramen. Gotta make those noodles. You could buy a case of that shit at Costco for like ten bucks. It's ridiculous. It is. I know. It's great. Following it can't the, be food. It, I don't understand. It, it. it keeps college kids alive. Oh yeah, that's why I bought the case. That's right. That's for why. My, that's the only time you eat it. For my little sister in law. We used to always have some in the house. Uh, even now, because every once in a while you just like in a pinch. Yeah, I'm was, hungry. I don't want to go for the ramen. Uh, it doesn't go bad, so you know. Yeah, because it's not real food. That's right. And it's got that chemical powder flavoring stuff yeah. you put on it, so you know it's gonna Perfect. go. The facility, which opens in 19, which opened in 1989, sits on 54 acres and has about 420 workers as of 2018, making the company's largest operation on the East Coast. It seems like 419 employees too many, if you ask me. It takes just, a lot of people to make noodles, hit apparently. The <laughs> no, no, all by hand. <laughs> all by all hand. by hand. They're a subsidiary of the Toko Toys Italian noodles. No, no, they're Japanese noodles. Uh, I'm sorry. Not even Chinese. Authentic Japanese noodles. Japanese noodles. The CDC says Virginia has had more than 25,000 confirmed COVID-19 infections. It's chaos. <laughs> including more than 6,000 over the past week, along with 890. And all of them work at ramen noodles. noodles. But, Michael, I feel the pandemic has come to an end. Yes. It is, it is officially over. Tell me. Because Publix is adjusting back to normal hours and suspending reserve shopping times. The company announced on Thursday, according to a press release, stores, another press release. Oh. Uh, stores will be open from 7 a.m. till 9 p.m. beginning Saturday, May 16th. So this past weekend, Publix says it's over, it's over. Well, hey, you know, I mean. They keep us alive during the tornadoes, hurricanes, pandemics. That's what I call a proper press release. Yes. Public's pharmacies are also returning to the regular operating hours. Well, that's fantastic. Do I have to go one way down the same aisle or whatever? Is it- yes, yes. Thank you for your patience over the past several weeks while we operated under reduced hours, the release said. The chain previously rolled out special shopping hours for seniors, vulnerable guests with the first responders because of the pandemic. With our newly expended hours, we will suspend reserve shopping hours. We do not understand... Some customers prefer to shop when the stores are less... Oh, we do understand, sorry. Publix said, we encourage you... I like how it's not even a person, it's just Publix. Yeah. Just one big company. Just the guy. We encourage you to shop during the first hours of the day. Mr. You, Publix. Mr. Publix. Ronald right. McPublix. <laughs> so if you want to shop uh, when there's nobody there, come early. No Other than that, they're going, fuck you, we're open all the time now. <laughs> <laughs> when we can better accommodate their need. They're going, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, we're back open. You know, um, that 8 o'clock thing, everybody's been closing at 8. Yeah, and you don't realize it. Adrian and Megan went out the other night. They had a couple of drinks. They were out of liquor. So like, I need wine. Let's go to Publix. It's not eight o'clock. Let's go to Publix. They get their Publix closed. So they came home. Well, and they both they probably went, shouldn't be driving. They both went to bed. Well, they weren't that driving. <laughs> One of them could drive. I'm sure. Well, you hold the pedal. <laughs> I'll steer. You push the pedal. You push the well, left one. I, I'll push the right okay. one. No, wait, we're crossing legs. You push the right one, I'll push the left one. What are you doing, you idiot? I'm going to shift. Let's put it in R for race. We'll get there faster. <laughs> put it in R for race. <laughs> um, you know, I will say this. I don't know if I said this before, but fucking people have been really angry. I feel like this is the time where we really should be introducing I haven't had any, uh, cigars any, to people. Any people being angry. Like, I've you know, not encountered that. Ooh, I watched some this old guy fucking rip a new asshole into like three employees at home deep was it home deep? Yeah. yeah yeah you told the story last that week it was insane and um britney had a had a, a gas battle at a gas station yeah so you know where do you people go she was I at mean, costco evidently in deltona everybody's just really chill and, and they're was, just like was hey, very we, happy we yeah. die we yeah. die it's all you know whatever we're in deltona yeah, we're almost okay. dead anyway okay. oh, the nice. water's gonna kill us nice. so you know oh, oh good <laughs> um the very expensive water so like when you do when you pull up the the way that you get gas at Costco is like you have to drive up and then drive out right it's all yeah, yeah it's all, motion, all one way right? right 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 so you know she was in the the there one person pulled up and then she pulled up so there's two pumps right right so she's in the back but it's a fucking suburban so in order is to the f- tank on the wrong side no in order oh. to fill the suburban it's you know fucking, you're gonna be there for a couple it's of days thirty gallons yeah right Ooh. something like that it's yeah. huge oh I know yeah I don't know the exact amount but you know let's just say it's a lot ah. So, you know, the first person and her arrived at the same time. The first person was done because he probably had like a 10 or 15 Did you say gallon. you have an excursion? The a big suburban. one? Oh, Suburban. Is that the same thing as the excursion? Uh, the, the, the other it's companies? Similar. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I have a story here too. So go ahead. Ooh, another story. Ooh, a back-to-back story. Yeah. 
So, you know, she's getting the gas, yeah. and the other guy drives away, and this guy behind her gets pissed off, drives around, and fucking wedges her in, and then says some shit to her. Oh, wow. Like, well, she's taking so long? Well, if you weren't on your damn phone, it's like, uh, well, it slows the, down the gas? The fucking gas is pumping, asshole. Right. So, yeah, she's very, so people are very angry. And wow. I think, I feel like it's people that don't smoke cigars. Maybe you guys just have attitudes. No, I don't think so, because if I was there, I don't, I don't feel like that, that would have went down that way. Well, you're a much bigger man than she is. Mm. Very intimidating. Mm. Kick your ass, pal! <laughs> In your fucking Beetle. Oh. I don't know what he was driving. Oh. Well, she should have just ran through it with that car. She probably did. Just <laughs> Yeah. Well, mm. it's almost time for an upgrade, so maybe the next one's got a ram guard. Oh. A, put one of those cow things in the front with the uh, little... Yeah, uh, yeah, and it says, try me, motherfucker, <laughs> on it. It says, I'm on the phone. It says, not today, <laughs> ISIS. Hi, Michael. Uh, wow. As of June 1st. Oh, wait. You said you had an excursion. Hey, well, my dad used to have the, the equivalent in the other company. Yeah, was the, the excursion. excursion. Yeah. yeah. Uh, years gone. ago, when Jake was younger, there was a, a hurricane or something headed when Jake was in Fort Myers. Mm-hmm. Headed for Fort Myers. Back when there was also a gas shortage. Yes, I've heard the story before. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. So we uh, proceed. We, we decided, uh, like my you parents know decided. The capacity. Yes. My parents decided our grandson must be saved. Yes. We must go get him. So Dad and I loaded up in the excursion, drove four hours down, mm-hmm. filled it up up here. We found a gas station. We filled it up down here, drove down, got him, turned around and drove back. Same tank of gas. Half a tank left. <laughs> yeah, half a tank when we got home. Loaded the minigun for the zombie apocalypse, even though it was oh, a shit. hurricane. It was green, too. We used to call it the Hulk. Oh, that is amazing. Big, big thing. We got rid of the Hulk? Uh, Mom couldn't park it. Mm. He's got an SUV now. She can't park. She can't handle big cars. They only really need the one car now. I feel like I mean, you know, I feel he's not like allowed to go anywhere by himself anymore. They just need the one car. I just feel like you can't get rid of a car called the Hulk. You just can't let it go. Oh, man. Uh, but, well, it was so big when you parked it, you had to take up two places. I love it. You had to pull through. I mean, there was no other choice. It was a huge thing, like five rows of seats in there or something. Mm-hmm. Like a bus. Anyway, on, uh, on June 1st. The Ford bus. The Ford bus. On June 4th, Moreau County officials say the traffic checkpoint of US-1 will be lifted. You could have named it Publix. The fl- uh, it's green. <laughs> yes, so. The Florida Keys are reopening. Driven by Publix. Well, the lodging establishments will be allowed to reopen. The Florida Keys... I'm just barreling through with the story, Michael. The so owner. <laughs> the owner of Publix. Publix. <laughs> Mr. Public. The Florida Keys are opening We're back up to Publix. visitors and tourists starting June 1st. Moreau County officials announced Driving Sunday Publix. evening. Officials say the traffic checkpoint to US-1, which are set up on March... Driving Publix. <laughs> Ow, you hit me <laughs> in the face. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Temporarily banned non-residents will be lifted while lodging establishments will be allowed to reopen. Those establishments, which include hotels, campgrounds, are ordered to set their capacity at 50%. I didn't get any of that story. I don't know what happened. The keys are opening on June 1st. Well, that's exciting. There was a checkpoint now. Oh, yeah, they, they protected their elderly. Yes. Because that's where all Do we still have the checkpoints keeping people from getting into Florida? I, I no think idea. so. Who Somebody knows? posted on Facebook today a questionnaire they were required to fill out on the airplane coming from New York City to Florida. Ah. A three-page three page thing. <laughs> Do you have coronavirus? No. Perfect. Come this <laughs> right this way. No, they don't even care. This is a mandatory two-week uh, quarantine. Have you been in contact with anybody with the coronavirus? Do you, can you spell coronavirus? <laughs> you can? Okay, come with us. Come on. Yeah, you're just going through. You can't? Okay, come with us. All right, we have a listener of the week. Tell me the listener of the week. I feel this is going to be in the way here. Listener, listener of the week, the week is Mr. Jeff Mute. Hey! Yesterday, oh. Mr. Mute celebrated 15 years of sobriety. He did. Congratulations, Jeff. Good job. Ooh. Whatever you're supposed to say. I don't understand. Uh, I mean, I understand, hey, but I mean that's. that's I, don't, a major I don't know how much you. Yes, how much you uh, acknowledge this kind of stuff. But he put it on Facebook, so I, I feel know, it is fair game. I feel like maybe he doesn't get. You know, it, it deserves to be acknowledged. Yes, that's why I've been a listener. And of the it week. hasn't been acknowledged. I mean, it is a major. I didn't know he had a problem at one time. I just thought he had decided. I mean, he has a problem drink. every day of his life, but that has nothing well, to do with his sobriety. Right. Uh, apparently, he checked himself into rehab and everything. Yeah, no, so no shit. I didn't. I didn't know any of that. He's a great guy, man. He, he is. I, I like Jeff. He's, he's, he's very nice. So, congratulations, Jeff. Riverside cigars. Oh, education! You love getting them plugs in. I love taking care of my people. Oh. All right, well, that's uh, that's all you have? Out I have, of paper. I have another listener of the week for you for next week. Oh. I said, don't ruin it now. We, just we, can't, we can't. We don't, don't want to rain on Mr. Mute's parade and, yeah. you know, make him a but it's also less an, listener. it's also another retailer. <laughs> so. Why don't you make that shop of the week? Ooh, shop of the week. We used to do shop of the week. What happened to that? We let that go? Well, Boss Cigars got it like five weeks in a row, so we kind of uh, stopped. No, I haven't heard from him lately. Oh, really? I get messages from him every once in a while. 
Hmm. Wonder how Chris just is checks doing. in and sees how I'm doing and stuff. Tama TPE and like then this whole chaos thing. He just he, he decided I'm the Mike he likes. <laughs> I can't argue with that. <laughs> You're you a likable Mike. Thank you very much. Yeah, everybody wants to be like Mike. No, everybody wants to be like you. You're such a young, virile, big man. Okay, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got anything else? No, that's it. Anybody uh, else you, know, you want to say hi to? No, I will tell you this, though. We were, you know... A long oh, we need to plug the event for the shop, but go ahead. A lo- uh, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. You know, a long time ago in a faraway place, we were talking about building a storyboard and a, and a whole... It's right there. Yeah, and then we had this bullshit. A pandemic. And we haven't done anything on it. So I think... I put tax on it. Uh, the tax look great. <laughs> Uh, I think that uh, today we should devote a little bit of time on it and start. Uh, let's start building this thing. Oh, it's already three thirty. You, know, you got to tell tell your wife you're not going to make it. I don't know what's going <laughs> Tell her you Oh, can't suddenly come you home. have free time now. Yeah. I have <laughs> don't you have time. work to be doing out there? Because you you came in for the meeting and then went Probably, right to this. But we need to start moving on this. Oh, oh. We don't have any note cards. We don't. No, I feel we don't have note cards. We might, but I think I use them all because I used to give you note cards for guests. And then we stop having guests, so we stop we having no we, have, we haven't had anybody in the shop. Well, we do it on phone calls now. Oh, that, yeah, that's kind of fun. So, want to call somebody before we leave? No. Nope. Oh, uh, should we get Mister uh, Yogurt Light back on the show since he got cut off the first part? Mm, nah. nah. Oh, <laughs> he fell asleep at the fucking <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> we had a Patreon for the Zoom, yes. the Zoom Patreon. And he was very excited, yes. and he didn't show. Oh, uh, speaking of the Patreon, somebody wanted to know the review you gave of the Death Bucket cigar on the Patreon. Well, I said ten dollars. It's available. that's the minimum fee. It's available on the Patreon. That's right. You can still see it for the next three weeks. Then it goes away, and it's very entertaining. It is. Very I had to clear out the ashtray. They were still here. <laughs> that's nice. Don't give away our secrets. No, no. Don't talk about it. It's a listen. secret. What do we have lined up for this week's Patreon, Michael? Give a teaser to the people. What do you have lined since now you're in charge of the content oh, for the man, Patreon? This what pressure. what I, do you have lined up for us? I don't want to divulge that. It's just in two days. Come on, give us a little I teaser. Don't let you just give know. us a little something. Come on. Just give us a topic. I can't tell you. Give us a little topic. Tease the people. Mm. Come on. What do you have in store for us this week, Michael? Mm. Come on. Come on. Da, 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 da. We're going to review another cigar. Uh, again? Yeah. What cigar is it? Unstolen Valor. <gasps> Did you get some? I'm sure you're hoping by Wednesday. <laughs> I'm hoping to God they're here by Wednesday. You know, that's oh. kind of bullshit, too, though, because everybody else has got them. I mean, wh- I, I, it, it took you forever to get the death buckets. That yeah, was already done, too. Like, yeah, and they were in Orlando. Whose shit list are you on? Everybody's. <laughs> Everybody's. The only Maybe shit, I should be the one trying to get I think the only shit list I'm not on is going to be the Roma Craft shit list. I mean, that's probably the only... That's I don't know. Danny sent out all those five packs to all those people, and you didn't get any of those That's either. true. I didn't get the any of those. Perfecto five packs? Yeah, because like, yeah, uh, Skip asked about that. Hey, yep. so you're getting those Grand, yeah, like, those Grand Perfectos. Yeah, you guys enjoying those Grand Perfectos? No? No. Yeah, no. No? Oh, well, you didn't like them? No, didn't get any. Yeah. No? Th- we have no idea what they taste like. <laughs> I'm, sure they, I'm sure they're fantastic. I'm sure they're good. Not, not I'm like, sure all the other retailers really enjoyed them. They did. Secreto seemed, he seemed to love yeah. his up there. Yeah. So. Uh, Ronnie. Ronnie. He did a big Haisha. He did a big Haisha. Gurkha sampler this week. Oh yeah. With a t shirt. Ooh. Hey. Mm. Gotta love Ronnie. I like Ronnie. You He's gotta fun. talk to Ronnie though. You gotta devote at least an hour. You gotta set an hour aside minimum <laughs> to have a conversation with him. Which is still like you do. Call him, put him on speaker, and then just walk in and out. And of the just room. remember that you're not gonna speak a lot. Right. Just but he's got some great points. I mean he really does. He's actually a very intelligent retailer. I gotta I gotta give him that. Oh. So we might leave the camera there. I'm kind of getting used to it. Oh, look at you. Adapting. I'm much closer to the camera. You're blurry, and I'm in focus. Uh, okay, anyway, the end of the month, uh, May 29th. It's like Bigfoot. I think Bigfoot is blurry. Oh. Uh, Mitch Hedberg. Bigfoot? No, nothing. Okay. S- Sasquatch? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's your shop. If you don't want me to plug the event, that's fine. I won't no, go ahead. It. Plug it. Oh. Movie night. Movie night here at oh, we're uh, movie Cigar Hustler. We're going to have a big screen out back. We're going to drop oh. it down from the second floor. We have a projector and six foot very night. large speakers. Six foot movie night. <sighs> yes. You have to be six foot away. You buy the uh, sampler. It's uh, 120 is that what it is? $120 worth of cigars for $86. And with that sampler, you get a, two tickets to the movie. Oh. And you get to vote on the movie. That's amazing. So you don't know what the movie is until that night. We will tally the votes, and then the movie will start. Yep. And then everybody leaves because they don't like the one that won. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah, it's something very different. Uh, I've been trying to get Greg to do this for years, 
And he always poo pooed on it. No, no, and that's a terrible idea. And now it's his idea. So. Now it's his idea, so it's the greatest thing I ever thought of. Yeah. He's... And we were supposed to stress, because he says it's a very big point, unlimited popcorn. Unlimited. Um, just the night so of the event, not unlimited all the time. Days. Popcorn, popcorn for days. Popcorn for days. That'd be amazing. I should buy a sample and just keep asking him for popcorn. Just to bother him. More popcorn. I heard, the, heard it was heard unlimited. unlimited. You still have some, Palmer. Take nope. It. It's gone. <laughs> Dump it on the ground. Dump it back in my truck. Oh, I'm I dropped my popcorn. I'm one of those people that bring the truck and just fill the. I, I want my truck filled with popcorn, Greg. <laughs> it's unlimited. Unlimited. Keep filling her up. Yeah. All right, we're at 45 minutes. I think we stretched long enough. It felt good. This podcast felt good. Unless there's any more silliness we need to know. I, I feel like we covered a lot of silliness. Whew, it's very, very a lot of Corona stuff, unfortunately. It is. It's, it's sad. But there, there really wasn't a lot. It was mostly industry related. Yeah, and some thing, good news. So. Some good news. Yeah, and, and her to back. So, you know, yeah. in Germany. And I gave yeah. the scheduling so everybody can plan their fall accordingly. Yeah, now we just have to sit here and wait for the Grand Perfectors to show up and we're all set. <laughs> Can't wait. Can't wait. It's just a matter of time. Maybe we should call it Lightweight Heavy, see what he's got. You know, circumvent. Do you really want to shoot over Danny's head? I mean, like that. I think that's where you, where people, uh, where, where feelings then get you're hurt. Dead. It's like, oh, then you're, you're fucked dead. up. You know what At I mean? At that so point, you like, will never get anything again. Yeah. You know, I don't want to be like that. So. Maybe you should send him some of them poop toys. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe I should. He probably pooparoo. <laughs> Just spit all over the microphone. Hmm. Pooper. Corona all over this microphone now. All right. All right, guys. We're gonna go. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. This has been a Cigar Hustlers podcast, a Mike and Mike production. Be sure to listen every Tuesday at 10 a.m. for all new episodes. Hi, I'm doing. I'm Husto Iroa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just don't have to do a single uh, single podcast ever again. Perfect. Ever. I'm good, Mike and Mike. How are you guys doing? <laughs> the Hojo D. Ma- Hojo! It's the Hojo! <laughs> <laughs> the you didn't even let him fuck it up all the way. <laughs> Right, I can't get past Hojo. Go on. I, I don't even have to try to. He's not even trying. We're gonna we're gonna cover a lot of ground here, Mike. All right. Try to keep up. That's a sign of a good podcast. Maybe like <laughs> four cigars when I walked in a door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. End this. Mike, 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 Mike squared. Mike squared.